Hello and welcome to this unboxing of the Star Wars X-Wing Expansion or Reinforcements Pack Pride of Mandalore which provides expanded options for your Republic, Separatist, Rebel, Imperial and Scum and Villainy collections. Um, doesn't include, obviously they're quite um, anything from the First Order Resistance era but um, so uh, we shall see hopefully a lot of useful uh, cards in here. Um, so. Pride of the Mandalore on the side. On the back here it reads, Expand and upgrade your Star Wars X-Wing game. So there are no warriors in the galaxy more storied uh, for their prowess and ruthlessness than the Mandalorians. Even though the conquests of Mandalore the Great are in the distant past, Mandalore and the various Mandalorian colonies such as the Concord, Dawn and Crownist have been battlefields in countless conflicts from the Clone Wars to the Galactic Civil War. Mandalorians have fought alongside nearly every faction in these struggles, whether pursuing their own agendas such as the fanatical Death Watch or unifying their causes like the Rebel Alliance. Whether visionaries like Satine Kreese, stalwarts like Ursa Ren, uh, extremists like Prey Vizsla or collaborators like Gar Saxon, Mandalorians have shaped the path of galactic history. So inside this we have um, following ship cards, so Bodica Venge for the Fang Fighter, Dirk Lauden for the Fang Fighter, Fen Rao for the uh, Fang Fighter, and the Clan Ran Volunteer for the Fang Fighter for the uh, Rebellion. Then for the uh, Imperium, we have Moth Gideon in the Tie In Fighter and the ISB Jingoist in the Tie In Fighter. And for the Scum and Villainy, we have the Mandalorian Royal Guard in the Fang Fighter. So the game contents contains 10 ship cards. 50 upgrade cards, 4 quick build cards, 2 condition cards, 5 ship dials, 8 ship tokens, 3 asteroids, 3 debris clouds, and 21 other tokens. So of course this is not a complete game and you will need the core set to play. Although from the core set all you really need are the range rulers and um, you probably have the other tokens from somewhere else but um, the tokens and stuff. Alright, so let's get this open. I'm going to use my hobby knife so please make sure that you're, if you're doing the same as I am that you take care and keep your fingers well clear of any um, any cuts so you don't hurt yourself um, okay so all right so that's that sliced open um, set the knife to the side all right so let's get this pride of Mandalore open so inside you can see um, various different contents you've got the the tokens and the ship dials you've got a list of contents we have cards we have that and then we have oh the little do for dangers for the dots oh wait so let's have a look at that one there. let's look at, get the contents list here so that's the full contents list that's a lot um so we have the dials mostly for our rebel fang fighters um, eight ship tokens, small ship tokens, two calculate tokens, three deplete tokens, two disarm tokens, one jam token, two strain tokens, two force charges, one false friend condition marker, two fuse markers, one trials of the dark saber condition marker, three asteroids, one blaze, one blazer bomb, three debris clouds, one electro chaff cloud, two thermal detonators, four quick build cards. Then of course the rebel alliance reinforcements, we've got the five fang fighter ship cards, we've got one Bodica Venge, one Dirk Lydian. Um, one Fen Rao, two Clan Ran volunteers. And for the Galactic uh, Empire reinforcements, we've got three Tyan uh, fighter ship cards, one Moth Gideon, two Jingoists. Um, for the Scum Villain, we've got two Mandalorian Royal Guards. Um, then for the upgrades, we've got a bunch here. We've got Sabine Ran as a command crew. We've got talent upgrades, so three Clan Training, two Dead Eye Shot, two Eye Limit Air Overrides, two Marg Sable Closures, um, two Force Power upgrade cards, one Compassion, one Malice. Uh, for the missile payload upgrade card, we got one electro chaff missile. Then for crew upgrades, we got one Ahsoka to know. We got one Bo Katan Kreese for the Republic slash Separatists, one Bo Katan Kreese for the Rebel and Scum, one Captain Hark, one Fen Rao, one Gar Saxon, one Corky Kreese, one uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, one Prey Vizsla, one Prime Minister Elmec, one Rookcast, one Satine Kreese, one Savage Opress, one Tal Merrick, one Tristan Ren, one Ursa Ren. Then we've got. Um, the crew upgrade cards, um, we have uh, Maul, um, then we've got gunner upgrade cards, we've got Gar Saxon, two suppressive gunners, we've got one Tiber Saxon, one Ursa Sac Ren, sorry, two weapons systems officers, we've got one illicit upgrade, which is the false transponder codes, three payload upgrade cards, one blazer bomb, one concussion bomb, one thermal detonator, 
nine modification upgrade cards. So that's going to be our um, uh, three Beskar platings, one delayed fuses, three Mandalorian optics, two overtune modulators, one two condition cards. So that's one false friends and one trials of the dark saber. So new rules that are in here. Um, we've got um, these are not in the normal core set. So blaze when the object is placed, um, fit the guides to the tab. Of the blazer bomb after this obstacle is placed, place a fuse marker on it. Uh, during the end phase, remove each blaze with no fuse markers, then remove one fuse marker from each blaze. While a ship executes a maneuver, it moves through or overlaps a blaze obstacle, it executes its maneuver as normal, but suffers the following effect. After executing the maneuver, it rolls one attack die. On a hit or crit result, the ship suffers one, da one hit damage. On a, a focus result, it gains one stress token. Then the ship skips its perform action step this round. After a uh, remote relocates, uh, if it relocates so that it, um, so that it, so uh, that it is at range zero of a blaze obstacle that suffers one damage while the unit defends, if the attack is obstructed by a blaze, it rolls one additional defense dice. This was not well edited. Uh, fuse marker, a device is fused while it has at least one fuse marker. When a device would detonate it, if it is fused, one fuse marker is removed from it instead. Deplete tokens. A ship is depleted while it has one or more deplete tokens. Deplete tokens are more are red. Sorry. While a depleted ship attacks, it rolls one fewer attack dice. After a depleted ship attacks or executes a blue maneuver, it removes one deplete token. Electro chaff clyde. An electro chaff clyde has the following effects on ships. While a ship is range zero of an electro chaff clyde, it cannot be locked, jammed, or coordinated by other ships. After a ship moves through or overlaps an electro chaff clyde, it skips its perform action step. Then it gains one jam token and breaks all locks on it. While a ship defends it, if the attack is obstructed by an electro chaff cloud, it rolls one additional defense dice. Revealed maneuver. Some abilities reference a ship's revealed maneuver outside of that ship's revealed dial and execute maneuver steps. If a card ability references a ship's revealed maneuver, use the maneuver shown on the ship's dial. After a ship's execute maneuver step, place its dial next to the ship card that matches the ship to which it was assigned. The ship's revealed maneuver remains until the next planning phase. If a ship was not assigned a dial during the planning phase because it was ionized, for example, it does not have a revealed maneuver. Strain tokens. A ship is strained while it does one or more strain tokens. Strain tokens are red tokens. While a strain ship defends, it rolls one fewer defense dice. After a strain ship defends or executes a blue maneuver, it removes one strain token. Right, those are the new rules. Here's the credits. Thank you to the people who made this. Um, so we have here the concussion bombs, we have the thermal detonators, um, we have our electro chaff clouds, um, asteroids, debris clouds. So these are all the obstacles. Uh, then the blazer bomb here, blazer bomb, blaze. Um, placing blaze, aligning it to the blazer bomb top. So blazer bomb, blaze. Okay. It's an obstacle after it's placed, place a fuse marker on it during the end phase, remove each blaze with no fuse markers, then remove one fuse marker from each blaze. Okay, very good. Alright, so let's have a look at the cards in here. Okay. So we have the pilots first. Let's go through those. Okay, so we have Moff Gideon, uh, Ruthless Remnant Leader, so uh, initiative four. Uh, while an enemy ship at range one to three defense, before attack dice are rolled, you may spend one focus, uh, or one charge, sorry, and choose a friendly ship at range zero to one of the defender. Uh, if you do, defense dice cannot be modified during this attack, and the chosen friendly ship gains one strain token. There's ISP, ISP Jinguist, so before you engage, you may choose one enemy ship in your front arc at range 0 to 1. If you do, that ship gains one deplete or strain token of your choice, unless it chooses to remove one green token. There you go. Uh, Fenral Mandalorian Protector. This is the Republic version. Before a uh, friendly ship range 1 to 2 engages, if there's an enemy ship in its front arc at range 1, that friendly ship may remove one non lock red token. Concordia Face Off. When you defend, if the attack range is 1 and you are in the attacker's front arc, change one result to uh, evade result. 
Bodega Bench, a Wrathful Warrior. After another friendly ship defends, if you are not depleted, you may perform a bonus primary attack against the attacker. If you do, if you do, um, after performing that attack, gain one deplete token. Concordia face off, same thing. Um, here, Dirk Ulid. Loden, uh, after you fully execute a red maneuver or perform a red action, you may acquire a lock on the enemy ship in your front arc at range 1. Clan Rain Volunteer, while you perform an attack at range 1, if the speed of your revealed maneuver matches that of a friendly ship at range 1, you may reroll one attack dice. Also as Concordia Faceoff, there's another one. Mandalorian Royal Guard, also as Concordia Faceoff. So, while a friendly, non- ship a non-small ship defends if you are in the attack arc you may gain one deplete and one strain token if you do the defender may change one result to an evade result okay all right uh then we have the quick build cards we've got fang fighter fenral uh clan ren lots of different ones those are nice false friend during the system phase of an enemy ship with the tile merrick upgrade is a range zero to two or an enemy remote is at range zero to two flip your dial face up Action gain one deplete token and one stress token to discard this condition. Trials of the Dark Saber, while you perform an attack at zero two, you may spend one crit result. If you do, the defending ship's player has more scored more uh, points than you, you they lose one point uh, place that point on this card. While you defend, if you are destroyed by an enemy ship at range zero to two, assign the trials of the dark saber condition to the attacker. All of those remain on the card. And then the ship scores um those tokens. So okay. Sabine Ren, there's her, clan training, two clan trainings, three clan trainings. Before you engage, if you're not focused and there is an enemy ship in your front arc at range one, you may spend one uh, charge to perform a red uh, focus action. After you perform an attack, if the defender is destroyed, recover one charge. Dead eye shot, if you perform a primary attack, if the defender is in your, while you perform a primary attack, if the defender is in your, um, Bullseye, you may choose one hit result, uh, may spend one hit result or change one crit result to a hit result. If you do, the defender exposes one of its damage cards. Dead eye shot. Um, Ion limiter override. So after you fully execute a red maneuver, you may perform a barrel roll action even while stressed. If you do, roll an attack dice on a, a hit result, gain one strain token, and on a crit result, gain one ion token. A marge table closure. So after you fully execute, a maneuver if you move through an obstacle structure or a huge ship or if uh, you deployed you may choose one enemy ship in your front arc at range zero, one to two that ship gains one stress token there's another one compassion so before another friendly ship at range zero to two would be dealt a face up um Uh, face up pilot or crew damage card you may spend one force if you do that damage card is discarded and said and you're dealt one face down damage card then if you have two or more damage cards recovered to force malice while you perform an attack you may spend one force to change one uh, focus or hit result to a crit result if you do after you perform that attack if the defender was dealt one or more face up pilot or crew damage cards recover to force electro chaff missiles during the system phase you may spend Next we have Malice. Uh, when you perform an attack, you may spend one force to change one focus or hit result to a crit result. If you do, after you perform that attack, if the defender was dealt one or more face up pilot or crew damage cards, recover to force. Next one is Ahsoka Tano, uh, Republic or Scum Crew. Um, after you fully execute a maneuver, you may choose to spend one uh, force uh, to choose one friendly ship in your front arc um, at range one to two. If you do, that ship may perform a red focus action even while it's stressed. Electro chaff missiles, you can put these missiles by spending one charge, um, three arc left or right or four straight, um, then place one fuse marker on it. Bokatan Krees, while performing an attack, if you are at range zero to one of the defender, you may reroll one attack dice. Bokatan Krees for the Reveler Scrum. Scum. After you perform an attack, if the defender was destroyed, each friendly ship at range 0 to 2 may remove one red or orange token. Captain Hark, two charges. After you fully execute a red maneuver, if you're not focused, you may spend one charge to gain one focus token. Fenral, before a friendly ship at range 0 to 2 engages, if it is revealed, 
maneuver is speed one or higher and there is an enemy ship in its front and its arc at range one, that friendly ship may remove one non-lock red token. Gar Saxon, <clears throat> while a friendly unit at range one to three with an initiative four or lower performs an attack against the defender you have locked, the attacker may change one focus result to one hit result. Corky Crees, after a friendly ship in your front arc is at range one to two becomes a defender, you may transfer one green token to it. While a friendly ship in your rear arc at range one to two defends, if the obstruct if you obstruct the attack, the defender rolls one additional defense dice. Obi Wan Kenobi, um, the Republic uh, crew, so he comes with one force. So after a friendly ship at range zero to two spends a focus or evade token, you may spend one force. If you do, that ship gains one focus token. Prey Vizsla, um, while you perform a coordinate action, you may choose a friendly um, crew remote instead of another friendly ship. Um, instead of performing an action that remote relocates using uh, one or a turn left or right or two straight template. Uh, Prime Minister Almec also comes with Almec Maul's puppet. Um, two sides. Uh, and the Rook cast crew. We have Satine Crees. We have Savage Opress. We have Tal Merrick. We have Tristan Wren. We have Ursa Ren, we have Maul, uh, we have Gar Saxon, we have Suppressive Gunner, two of those, we have Tiber Saxon, we have Ursa Ren, we have Weapon System Officer, we have Weapon System Officer again, False Transponder Codes, those are illicit, Blazer Bomb, that's the new thing, Concussion Bombs, Thermal Detonators, Delayed Fuses, Overturned modulators, overtuned modulators, Beskar reinforced plating, these are really nice um, upgrades. A few of those in there. Mandalorian optics, three of those. Very good. Then we have the tokens. Um, so we've got the debris clouds and the asteroids. We've got the different tokens for like the dark saber trials, thermal detonators. Um, <clears throat> those for the Fang Fighter or the dials for the Fang Fighters for the Republic. Or for the rebellion, even. Um, here's the different tokens that you're going to need for the different things. So you've got obviously the ship dials, and you've got your um, fuse markers, your strain tokens, and your deplete tokens. And there's the electro chaff glide, and there's the rest of the um, dials. Okay, that's pretty much everything in there. So thank you for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe to this video and check out our other videos on the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.